Hello, ladies and gents. I'm the Rev. This is the Beginner's Guide to Savage Lands. And today we're taking on the Forest Giants. There are four of them. We must kill them, collect their skulls inside of a special portal, and then once we get all of those together, we will take them to a certain spot and we will be have access to the third island of Jokomir. So, what you're going to need at the very, very least is all steel armor and steel weapons. I have silver because that is what I wanted to show you guys what is next because after I show you how to kill these four guys, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you my silver and gold run that I do. So, by now you should know this area somewhat well and you would know that the entrance is over there where you first come in if you come down this wall here until you get to the area where I'm standing right here and then you just go this way and we're gonna take out a deer he's the first right down here and here he is. So there's a couple ways you can take him on. You can use sword and shield. I'm just gonna two hand and beast mode him. Whoa! And he does throw you. As you can see, it's very easy to telegraph his moves. So he's nothing all that difficult to do. Now the other reason to take these guys is for the radiant shards that you can get, but let's see what we get this time. Ah, we got the soul of a deer, radiant gem fragments. Now you have to have these to, have to make the mithril, gold, and silver armor, so collect them all. And the spirit shards are so you can teleport players towards you. Anyways, I'll take all of that, and as always, don't ever pass up those little things of cotton so that you can make bandages out of them. Also, when you're in here, you'll want to hit the elks. I don't know why they call them that, but these guys have all kinds of weird things. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, we just got a little bit of flint that time. No biggie. Sometimes you can get radiant shards, all kinds of different things. Uh, the only other place I know of besides those little guys is on the third aisle hunting the spirit wolves and I will break these into sections so if you have you want to jump ahead to see where the other guys are to fight them it's all good so here we go there's the portal now I'd already opened this one I just didn't because I've been farming these guys this is what a Z crystal looks like emerald crystal skull there we go. Now I would assume they're going to do more with this. Currently you can't build anything in here. Can't do nothing with it. It's a safe way to uh, it's a safe place to go to uh, repair and you know if you need to stand around and organize things like that it's all good. Anyways if you're going to farm these guys and I suggest you do because like I said the radiant fragments so that you can get uh, uh, the next tiers of armor made build nice little bases like so have your spawn point so if something happens you're good alrighty so from this position you've got three other choices different ways you can go Get out of here, you little bugger. Oh, that time you give us some shreds. I'll take the nuts. I don't need the horn. I don't need any more of those boar tusk bags. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll just cut straight across here. It's the easiest way to do it. And I'll point these out. And you guys can do whatever order you want to do them in next. I'm going to do them in kind of a weird order. Because I'm on this side of the map, it's just easiest to go straight down in there, uh, hang uh, left, and I'll show you guys when we get there, running down this little water trough here, 
and that's the shutter wood there's a guy there if you go straight up and over the uh, um, mountain here and there's uh, two long ridges of rock that come down the other guys on the left side of those two ridges he's in a little forest section I'll show you that and then there's one just further down um, by a farm which is a great place to make camp and I'll show you guys that one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the shutter wood then we're gonna go down that way then we're there because then the final goal is the portal so hold on a second folks I'm just going to run straight down here. It's, it's a boring run. So hold on. And when I come back, I'll show you the shutter wood. All right, guys. So I am all the way at the very, very end. If you keep following this right up the coast, you will hit the burned out um, city that's run by a wall. So if you're coming from the village, basically you hug the coast and you just hug it all the way down here. You go to the left of the city because otherwise the city goes right to the coast and it pushes in the water. Run all the way down here. And I cleared a thing for it. Now he should be straight ahead. Things you do want to keep in mind when doing this is first and foremost, this is the most dangerous area currently because there are Trogers, which you can hear, kind of, and bears. So expect them to get into the fight. It's not an, always an easy one. You can always go through and kill them all first. But let's take this big SOB down first. Oh, I like your love taps. Again, keep in mind, I am wearing silver armor. That's why I can take whatever he's thrown at me like it's nothing. And I'm sure the devs will be. Balancing things, so you never know. Alrighty, so here he dropped. Ooh, we actually, ah, uh, Cat. That's who we killed was Cat. Alright, so, now, to get to Ket's portal, which is where we want to go next. Do, do, do. Ah. It's not that far, but I'll take you guys along the coast, because it's that's the easiest way. As soon as you get in into these this bush here, man, oh, it is so easy to get lost. So, do keep that in mind. So, remember, we've still got the coast on our the right side, and there it is. Right, do do. Oh, and he's got the amethyst flask or the crystal, the ameth amethyst crystal skull. Ooh, that's a mouthful. All right, so there we go. A couple more to do, and they are, like I said, pick a pattern because we're all the way down here to the south so we can either go up the coast on this side here and hit them that way or you can go up the center both take about the same amount of time no if you go because you have to go uh, around and kind of back over if you go here to the to the left so it's up to you which one you want to do I'll probably just run up this, the old coast here maybe get me a bear or two so hold on and we'll be back in one second with the next Alright guys, it's dark, but I got the brightness turned all the way up, and we are here to fight another tree giant. This one is right next to the burned out town, where the portal right there to, is to Kroll. Kerr, sorry. Kroll's the first guy, and that's where I built my little base again. These are good ideas, because it's also a great launching off point, and is the launching off point for... Um, if you don't want to kill all these guys, or you just want to kill one over and over and over because he's easy, if you think, then getting on the ice down over here, and I do have a guide for that, which you guys will probably see before this one. But anyways, you can see that fire over there is how you get across. And if you watch that guide, it's just me running across, showing you how to get over them and what to do once you get there. So, 
Let's take this dude down. He's not real difficult, most of them not. Now, so I missed some of those first hits. When he starts coming up, you have to come at him from behind. But, one of the different ways you can use to attack him. Ooh, but don't let you get yourself pinned to a tree. Because he'll stomp you. There we go. Anyways, is. They have changed him a little bit, but if you keep him in the trees, see now as he's walking off, he's not regenerating health. You can bandage up, do whatever you need to. Go right at him again. I'm rocking dual swords here, just because I know what silver armor can take, and I know what he dishes out. Just, just leave, son. I don't need none of that. All right, see if I get the right one. Nope. Well, I better take all of that just in case. Oh, and there's another one. Son of a biscuit. All right, here we go. So this time we got a radiant gem fragments and spirit shards, which is okay because I already have the portal opened. And to get to the portal here is just down this way. You want to see a good example of what it is to eat bear meat and how well it does? It does a very good job, especially if you're going to be running across the ice. Great way to keep yourself going. Again, it's the, I think it's the best meat in the game currently. Alright, so here we go. His frozen abode. I really like that one. Yeah, it looks the coolest. Whoa! And it is, believe it or not, ice. Okay, that's really dark. So what we'll do is... There we go. So you guys can see a little better. These aren't lit well at night. So, and here we go. Sapphire. So we've got two of them. And... Depending on what order I do these guys in, either we will be at the portal to go see Kerr next, or we will be at another tree boss. So, hold on folks, and when we come back, we'll be doing one of those two things. So, hold on. Alright, ladies and gents, so the next forest giant is probably the first one a lot of you will do which is the e uh, the shortest distance so you just basically make a left around the water when you're coming out of the first village come on down all the way down oh and it's got to go dark on us until you see this uh, farm here right burned out farm got a bunch of cotton on it the road itself is just right here as you can see there's a road that goes to it, and it leads right out there to another main road. So it's not that hard to find. It's a great place to set up a base camp because you can wall things off pretty easily. You just got to be careful. Some stuff may get through. So, let's see. As always, if you want to fight at night, all you got to do, turn up your brightness. Woo, all right. Now it's more than light enough. Alright, so, to find him, go out that direction, he is just off this path that's running up here, to the left, whoops, you can see I've been doing a little hunting, and here we go, remember if you hit him in the butt you can get a few extra strikes in before he starts, and there's a knight bloom flower underneath this one. Forgot about that. Anyways, you can either, like I've shown you, take him into the trees, circle him, stand right in front of him. Once you get silver armor currently, like I'm wearing, he doesn't do that much damage to it. So, there we go. Drop, big boy. 
Oh, he only dropped phosphor. That's okay. I will just farm him until I get the uh, portal open. So hold on, folks. When we come back, I will have that portal. We'll get that last skull, and then we will go and open the portals. So hold on, folks. I'll be back in one sec. All right, guys. So straight down here, besides it being a spawning point, if you want to follow the route I've been going, you can get three of the guys. A deer, you have to go in. Like you guys saw, I showed you right by the wall. But anyways, I want to show you that real quick. And then it's just right up here. If you're having trouble finding these areas, it's real easy. You just have to take your time. There's always, if you find the tree god, you're going to find the portal. Ooh, it's snowing inside. All right. So this should be the last one. And uh, when we come back, we'll be at the portal. We're going to open it and go across. And then that one will that will set up then the silver run video that I have for you guys. That'll be after that. So hold on. We'll be back in one second. All right, folks. Now it's time for the big unveiling. The third island, Jugomir, I give to you. Come on. Okay, so first time over here. Hear those growls? That, my friends are grindles and grindles go right through um, they will pierce and make you bleed right through anything steel that you have so you want to avoid them until you can get yourself silver gold right now is uh, has the same stats as silver or, or as sorry as uh, steel so you don't want to screw with that but what you do want to do is come over here and this is one of the few places, believe it or not, you can actually build a base. And in the next video of the Beginner's Guides, I will show you a silver and gold run from the base that I built on another thing here. Because I had to start over to show you guys how to do the tree gods so I could open the portal. So, as always, folks, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helped. And if you have any questions, of course, please leave them down in the comments below. As always, I am the Rev. Keep your heads down and your swords up. And I'll see you again real damn soon.